Wow. <laughs> uh, how are y'all? It's been a minute since I talked to you guys. The year's almost up. We have had so many accomplishes, goals, accomplishes. Huh? Accomplishments, goal set. We reached 200K on Instagram. We're almost at 10,000 on YouTube. We are getting recognized by brands and celebrities. Speaking of celebrities, we got reached out by Ludacris. Yes, Ludacris. The actor, the artist, and the creator, bro. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna do too much talking. So this is the story of that Savage Kitchen meeting and cooking for Ludacris. Stay tuned. What it is. Hell yeah, what's going on, man? I'm good. You're a busy guy these days. Young and taking over the world. I love it. So, me and Ludacris, we jumped on a call. And this was our first call. But sadly, you couldn't hear my audio. But yo, this will not be the first time you won't be able to hear my audio. No, it didn't get audio. No, because this wasn't green. Uh, this is my first time seeing him, meeting him. And we just talked about what we're going to be cooking on Friday. So, really, y'all, that's the summary of it. I made some menus. He liked them. Yeah. So thank you, man. And uh, I, I'll text you. Yeah, I'll text you in a little while and let you know what entity to make that out to. And man, look forward to seeing you on Friday, man. I'll, I'll keep you updated on when we're going to land and what time I'll be at the hotel and all that shit. My brother, love. All right. So I changed. It was too hot in here. So I had to get a little comfortable. But this is the first day. Here's the menu. And that's what we're going to be cooking today. Your boy had to go to Whole Foods. So we drove there, got what we needed. And this is when we are cooking the Caesar salad. We're making the creamy feta pasta. And then for dessert, we're doing the fudgy brownies. It's a simple day. And that's how we're going to keep it. And we are going to be using Swervy for most of these recipes because we're going to be doing like a healthy alternative version of these foods because that's how he rolls. The majority of what I would like is the healthy organic stuff. The dude be working out. So I'm like, hey, I ain't trying to fatten him up. So I'm like, you know what? We're going to be using some Swervy. It's good. It's Swervy, Swerve. I don't know. I call it Swervy because it sounds fancy. That's what we're going to be using. Uh, I marinated my chicken and all that overnight so we can deepen and richen the flavor. To be honest with y'all, I didn't have time to record because we were on the go. As soon as we dropped the food off, we had to come back and start on another recipe. So a lot of the footage is a little choppy or it's not finished. So it looks a little wonky, which is why I keep on popping up. Because we have to appear here, then we have to go here. And it's like, yo, this is too chaotic. I need all three of my helpers to help me. And I don't have time for anyone to be recording and filming. And we didn't have any extra hands. So, yeah. So, we got the Caesar salad made. We got the brownies made. Now, we work on the pasta. These aren't your normal pasta. We are using chickpea pasta. He said it's healthier. And I looked at it. It was healthier. And that's what he wanted to use. I actually got me a box to taste. And it wasn't that bad. I'm not going to lie. We're gonna top it with some parsley be fancy and some parmesan cheese on top you already know and that is it now we have to pack up everything and hit the road all right y'all so we on our way to meet Ludacris. um kind of nervous i ain't gonna lie to you i am very excited and i cannot wait to meet him and he is going to love your food i know i think he's gonna love it yeah. it's also her birthday today and she loved Ludacris, so it was like perfect timing. We on our way there. I'm gonna keep y'all posted. So make sure y'all stay tuned and let's get it. So we driving down the street. Yo, it was far out. It was a good 30 minutes away. We in the car chilling. Uh, your boy was a little nervous. So we had to play a little music. But as you can see, you can't hear it. So we just walking down the hallways, going to the room. And bro, we didn't get Luda audio because the mic was off, bro. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Your boy was tired. Your boy was rushed. There's no excuses. I don't know why I'm saying this. Your boy just forgot to turn on the mic. We were traveling to the room. We got in the room. We started setting stuff up. After we got everything set up, Luda came in. I'm going to try to remember, but this is what I remember us talking about. Brody came in looking clean. I messed with the fit. So we just said, what's up? How's everything going? He's saying he's happy to be here to try the food. I'm saying, hey, bro, appreciate it. The kid was a little nervous. Look at me. You see my arms fall down. I'm like, yo, bro. I'm, a, I'm literally meeting Ludacris, bro. I grew up listening to his music. My mom used to play it all the time in the car. 
so just actually seeing this man in person is crazy and i wish i can get the actual audio on here because we went into deeper conversations and it was just a good talk he felt like family and it felt like a cousin that i haven't seen in a long time right here he was asking how did i learn how to cook i told him that i learned from my grandma with the baking my dad with the barbecuing and my mom with the home style meals and i just collected all of them like pokemon and i just diverse myself into learning all of those things I was on my phone because I was showing him and we were talking about one of the first meals that I made and I actually took a photo of it. And then he went on and said, hey, I actually might have one of the first songs I ever worked on. And he said he's going to send it to me if he finds that. So I'm holding you accountable. Hope you find it. But there he is looking at it. I was telling him it's some basic random crap. He said, nah, it look good. I said, hey, bro, I appreciate it. Because at 13, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just putting food and meats and sauces together just to see what it tasted like. After all that talking, he like, bro, I'm tired of you talking. Let's get the food started. I'm like, you know what? Come on, let's go. I'm going to take you over here. So I was trying to undo this lid. Your boy was struggling a little bit. It was kind of embarrassing. But eventually we got it. So I was showing him the pasta, telling him that I was making a healthier version with high protein, more than carbs in it. So we're using the panza pasta. He the one that put me on, told me to try that. So that's what we got. But then we got the salad. No one really care about salad. I do. It's Caesar salad. It's one of my favorites. Then we are going to move on to the garlic knots. These are some homemade garlic knots. You know, I had to throw them in there. They ain't the healthiest, but hey, at least they're homemade. Next for dessert, we made some brownies. These aren't your typical brownies. These are keto brownies, but they are good keto brownies. They ain't like keto brownies and then they taste a little weird but we put a little chocolate on top to finish it off but it is sugar-free chocolate it tastes like a normal piece of chocolate like it was crazy so it was time luda got to play then his boys came in they got to play and bro everyone was so cool like no one was so hollywood but his security said turn them cameras off and we turned them off chat for a little bit and dipped so this is when it happens i'm walking down the hall and i'm like yo what if we did all that and none of this audio was recording I looked to check and it wasn't recording, bro. Was that all this whole time? Oh, sh I don't know you. I don't know how to use this stuff. That means it didn't pick up any audio? No, no it didn't get audio. No, because this wasn't green. Bro, I didn't know what to do. At least that was the only meal I had to drop off. Next day was Sunday and I had to deliver a lunch and dinner. So after I dropped that meal off the first night, I went to bed and cried myself to sleep. Yeah, I cried myself to sleep for about one hour because I had to get up because we had to deliver that food at 12 p.m., bro. I wake up at 11 a.m. So, you know I was struggling. I couldn't go to sleep, so I had to stay up all night to make sure I had to get this perfect. It's still Friday night. Your boy was up all night. I told you I still had to prep. So now we're making some cheesecake bites. Now I was working on the appetizers and it was going to be a shrimp tostada. So I was frying up some corn and that's it. Everything else like the salmon and all that, the asparagus, we had that all prepped. I even got the chicken prep that I was going to make later on that day. That was going to be for lunch. And it was three in the morning, your boy was tired. So I went to bed cause I had to get up at six and start prepping everything else. So after I was done prepping everything, we had to hit the road and now we are here. So what I made today was some cilantro lime quinoa. And then we have like some build your own tacos. So I got the corn, the flour, then we got some chicken, bro. Some Chipotle smoked chicken, don't get it twisted. Since it's lunch, we gonna keep it light. So I got me a Mediterranean watermelon salad. It is straight gas. If you haven't had it, you gotta have it. And then for the little appetizer side, we got some shrimp tostadas made with a homemade guac top it with some cantija your boy used to work at chipotle so <laughs> i don't know what to tell you i had to steal their recipe yeah. <laughs> how you doing yes sir yeah so how was it last My night brother. how you doing it was good it was good everybody said it was good and, and by the way the one who couldn't make it down here who eat like a bird he ate it in the car he was like he said it was crap yeah. So that's that oh, slang for great. it's addicting and it was really, really good. So we did it again. Absolutely. That's All right. Good. So first what we got uh, for the size, some quinoa uh, cilantro lime rice. Because huh? I know you said you were trying to cut back on your uh, rice. Family style, so I got some some tortillas, gluten-free. Right. And then we got some homemade chipotle smoked chicken. And then to pair that, we got some feta watermelon salad. The watermelon salad. I wish my wife would. She loves watermelon salad. She does, yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Shrimp, uh, shrimp tostadas, Ooh. homemade guac, put some cotija on top to make it look nice. And yeah, I and like that. And you made your own tortillas. I made my own tortillas. Oh, dope. You made these yourself? Yes, sir. 
Now, how do you do that? I'm curious to know. Or you can't give away your secrets. So it's okay. okay. I can't. <laughs> so that was day two, lunch. We're gonna come back in a few hours, do some dinner. You already know. Go backstage, all that. We're gonna turn up, bro. So y'all stay tuned. It's still the second day. We just dropped off the lunch earlier and now we are back with dinner. So let's go. All right, guys. So we here. This is day two uh, dinner. So right here, we got some honey garlic glazed salmon. You already know. We got some Parmesan crusted asparagus. Looking nice, looking nice. Look at that. And then we got the killer right here. Some homemade crab cakes. Jesus. Start getting that. Got you some honey made. glaze, <laughs> garlic, salmon. Jesus. Jesus. And then we just talked about the crab cakes. Yeah. So I whipped that up real quick. Quick. On the spot. I put you on the spot. <laughs> you did, but they, deliver. Hey, they fire. They're gonna be fire. The guys are like, please bring us some crab cakes. Yeah. They mad that they about to lose out. <laughs> now we got some uh creamy garlic mashed potatoes. For the dessert, we can't miss out on the dessert. I got some swerve because I told you about the yeah, swerve. Have you you said you tried or, or you didn't try? I think it was I, I saw something a derivative of it, but I didn't I don't think I knew about swerve. So that's yeah, some sugar free nah, or bro, I'm swerve to all of it. cheesecake bites. But yeah, it'd be good, man. I'm glad me and Mark are first ones here. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get to it. All right, it's day two. Dinner just happened. They loving it. We got crab cakes. We got salmon. We got asparagus. We got mashed potatoes, bro. And then we about to we about to hit a club later on. What the? E. So, bro, we dropped the food off and we hit the club, hanging out with Ludacris, bro. That was crazy. We got to watch his concert. It was fire. We talked in the back. Got to hang out, chill. You already know, bro. And it was just a great experience. The dude was so cool that. I found out we both Virgos, bro. His birthday is September 9-11. Uh, kind of crazy, I ain't gonna lie. And my birthday is August 27th, so it's cool. We both Virgos. And it was my mom's birthday. Yeah. It's also her birthday today, and she loved Ludacris, so it was like perfect timing. And he gave her a bottle of Dom Perignon, bro. Like, dang, bro. First of all, she wants to say thank you for that. If you're watching this, we appreciate that. Because that, you didn't have to do that. You just did that. We had fun. Great experience. But we had to cook for this man at 7 in the morning. So we had to dip out pretty early. Uh, I would say at like 1. Because we had to cook. All right, y'all. So it's Sunday. Your boy couldn't film early because we were trying to rush. I'm sorry. But we made some chicken and waffles topped with a vanilla glaze icing. Then we had to pair with some chicken. Obviously, it's chicken and waffles. And y'all, this was straight fire. It looked good. I wish I made me enough for me, but I couldn't. Like I said, I couldn't film everything. We had to head out because we had to be in Dallas at Ooh. 7 in the morning, bro. So we had to make all this rush, drive out there. So we got out there. They were about to leave, heading to the airport. So we rushing. We running to give them their food before they dip off. I'm like, I can't promise y'all a meal and then not deliver. So I'm like, I'm rushing to the car. I'm like, here, here's this, here's that. And everything turned almost smoothly, I'll say. It was smooth. But yeah, that was it. That was a great experience. I hope I can cook for them again. And y'all, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all leave a like comment down below and say what is your favorite ludicrous song if you listen to ludicrous like that bro mine is p-pop <laughs> i ain't gonna lie me and my okay me and my co-workers always play this song i don't know why but p-pop is one of my favorite songs but they do got a lot of bangers so yeah hope y'all enjoy i'll talk to y'all soon